They're not going to go for the extra point on this play. No. I mean, the field goal on this play. They have 16 seconds. They can still go for the victory and have the time. They have no timeouts. With an incomplete pass, they'll have the time. Yeah, they'll try one. I kind of like this. They're, they're not going to play it close. They're going to go to win this thing. Right. Otherwise, we face the prospect of an overtime. First and goal. Oh, and you knew he'd be careful. And he was. Had a man there, but he was making absolutely sure that there would be no pickoff. Fiery competitor, isn't he? Yeah, he really is. I think they're going to try it again, maybe. I saw Turner head out toward the field, I mean, to the playing field, and they called him back. How do you like this? They could get in a little bit of trouble if we've got trapped back there getting the field goal team on the field. They have no timeouts, of course. Put this game in perspective and think about Denver defense. All the time they spent out on that field. How they held together. Kept the club in the ball game. And then this little Peppa Pot Weiss came in and gave them the spark and life they needed. They got five seconds to get this play off. Two. They got it. Weiss bootlegging, rolling out. Now, this is the trouble I spoke of. He cannot stop the clock. Bill Wise. They're going to lose oh, the football no. game. Oh. They're unscrambling. Why is the clock stopped? There were no timeouts remaining for Denver. They let the teams get into position. Well, they'll have another huddle with the officials after this. Start the clock. Two, one. It's good. It's tied up. <laughs> it's the official's judgment as to when they pile, get rid of the pile up, get the teams back on side. <laughs> it is incumbent upon the defense to get back on side. I don't know what that happened. Well, I would like to get into that. Boy, and you have some unhappy Chuck Pullman is in rage. Look Bud Grant's in rage. Oh, Matt Blair's in rage. Huh? Fred McNeil is in rage. And from where we and from where we stand up here in the broadcast booth and Alan Page, you can understand it. Well, Vikings are ready to leave. They're leaving the field. Alan Page is going to the locker room. Of course, they have a three-minute wait. Confusion at Bloomington. Bud Grant showing emotion we haven't seen for some time. I'm so proud of it. That's really good. Well, I want to tell you something. Professional football, by an opinion research poll at Princeton University, is the nation's most popular sport. Now, let's watch this from the preceding play, then I'll resume. Well, number one. That's what I spoke of. He might get in trouble if he got trapped. They wouldn't have time. Why? They kill the clock to let the teams get lined back up. It's the referee's judgment when they start the clock. It's incumbent upon the defense to get back on sides, and then they start it. Uh, Bud Grant is saying they started way too late. Uh, he did jump in there and stop it in a hurry. Fran Talkington with a mix up, an apparent mix up on the part of the officials. The action taken in San Diego yesterday was fought by the officials in justifying the three consecutive fumbles that led to the touchdown was, according to all newspaper quotes, not verified but controverted by the players themselves who made the fumbles. So now, Give it to Frank for a station break. And All right, we'll they flip the coin for the kickoff. There'll be a three-minute break. Right now, a word from our local stations. 